Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Fireside Room at St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. Today we celebrate the first Friday of the 22nd week of Ordinary Time. Our votive Mass will be for the evangelization of people. And let us begin with our opening song. I will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. I am hope for all who are hopeless. I am eyes for all who long to in the shadows of the night, I will be your light. Come and rest in me. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me. I will bring you celebrate the votive mass of evangelization of people. We keep in mind that these times of COVID, many have drifted away from the worshiping community, and now we pray that this time of evangelization will cause folks to discern the Spirit to come back. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, whose will is that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, look upon your abundant harvest and be pleased to send workers to gather it, that the gospel may be preached to all creation and that your people, gathered by the word of life and sustained by the power of the sacraments, may advance in the path of salvation and love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Thus should one regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is, of course, required by stewards that they be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or by any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I'm not conscious of anything against me. But I do not thereby stand acquitted, for the one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time, until the Lord comes. For he will bring to light what is hidden in the darkness, and will manifest the motives of our hearts. And then everyone will receive praise from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation, salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. The salvation, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in him, and he will act. 
He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right, and forsakes not his faithful ones. Criminals are destroyed, and the posterity of the wicked is cut off. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the fifth chapter of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same. But yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come. And when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise he will tear the new, and the piece from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins, and no one who has been drinking old wine desires new, for he says, the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Amen. Amen. In my former life, I was known as a gym rat. I loved sports. That's where you would find me, in the gym. I then became an athletic director at a school for many years. So I continued that interest in sports. The one sport I loved most was basketball. So I learned all about the history of basketball and how it evolved. Naismith, who quote-unquote invented basketball, started with just putting a bushel basket up on a barn wall. And people would start shooting. And then they'd have to have a ladder to get the basket, the ball out of the basket and put it back into play. Someone had an idea. Let's cut a hole in the bushel basket and the ball can fall through. That was the first major change in the rules. The next one came sometime before I was born and while I was young. It used to be the way you would shoot a basket was a two-hand set shot. And some got really good at it. I knew some older folks who played basketball. That was the way they shot. The evolution came when someone got the idea, why not have what is called a jump shot? actually leave the floor and at the peak of your jump release the ball. The rules changed, made it a better game. 
Naismith today wouldn't even recognize the game of basketball. He invented it in the 19th century. So Jesus came along to use a metaphor and he changed the rules. He changed the rules about how we can connect to God the Father. He showed how he had power over sin, weakness, and death. And so whenever we open the scripture, each one of us needs to heed what Jesus is saying today. We need to be new wineskins to pour new ideas and new concepts that come from the gospel to us every day. I've been preaching for 45 years, Father Don, just several more than that. And every day we preach, we come up with a new insight, prayerfully, that we can share with the people of God. That's how we are to read scripture too. Every day we read scripture, we find something new. Good news, the gospel, is always new. And that's how we want to come to Scripture every day of our life, being open to the new rules that Jesus gives us by telling us how he is conquering both sin and weakness and death. Let us stand and make these petitions to our Heavenly Father. We continue to pray for peace in our world, in our streets, and in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the evangelization of peoples, for those that they have new skins to be able to accept the very good news of Jesus Christ, and for us that we always develop a true appreciation and discernment of the newness of the gospel in our own lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and we continue to pray for those in our community who are sick, who are dying, for those who mourn, and for those who are depressed and isolated. We make all of these our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the face of your Christ, who handed himself over as a ransom for all, so that through him, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name may be exalted among the nations, and in every place a single offering may be presented to your majesty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate with love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with 
unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished <clears throat> by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alexander and Peter, our bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us share a sign of peace. May this name be of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ can be saved. The blood of Christ can be A spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. I am the word that leads to all freedom. I am the peace the world cannot give. I will call your name, embracing all your pain. Stand up now.